Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we had a, a good question on one of our videos. We had a question from somebody that said, we want to keep the secondary menu up here, but we want to have the cart icon on the primary menu. How do we do it? Well, I'm going to do it the really easy way. So we'll add an icon to this menu and just link it to the cart page. And we can do that with the onboard elegant themes icons here. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder. Okay, once enabled, I'm going to go down. I'm going to just add a blurb, I, a blurb module. And the reason I'm adding a blurb module is so I can access the icons. There's the blurb module. Let's just go down a bit. I'm going to say image and icon. Hit the use icon button. I want to roll down and find a shopping cart icon so I can copy the code for it in a moment. There we are, right there. As you can see, it's added a shopping cart icon. Let's just save this. Then we'll save our changes and exit the Visual Builder. Okay, so let's go down. I'm using Google Chrome here with the Great Inspector tool. So I'm going to right click on the shopping cart icon itself, inspect the code. And here it is. Span class ET waypoint. That's our actual icon that we want to use. So I'm going to right click on it. Say edit is HTML. Like I said, I'm using Google Chrome. I think you can do this in most browsers nowadays, but if not, Google Chrome's a free download. I'm going to copy this right here, control C to copy. Now I'm going to go to my menus dashboard, down to appearance and menus and select my primary menu. This is the primary menu. This is the secondary menu. And I want to add my cart icon just after brands there, I suppose, before the search. We can get rid of that search, I suppose, if you don't want it. And I'm going to use a custom link. Make sure I've got the right menu. Yep, right menu. Custom link. Now, for the time being, I'll just put a hashtag in there. And for the link text, that's where I'm actually going to paste that code that we just copied. Now, let's add it to the menu. And there it is right there. Now, let's just have a look, see what we've got. I'm going to save the menu. I'm going to refresh this page. I can get rid of that Chrome Inspector now. And we should have a little icon appear up there. It may be the default color, but we'll style that in just a second. So let's re refresh. And there it is. Fantastic. A little bit too big though. That's fine. We'll just add a bit of CSS and shrink it down to about 16 pixels or 14, whatever you're using for here. And the color is absolutely fine. So I don't need to change that. So let's go to our menu right here. Go back down to that menu item. I'm going to add a bit of custom CSS. I'm going to put it between span and class and I'll put this down below the video. You're welcome to use it if you want to. Simple bit of CSS. I'm going to say style equals open and close some inverted commas and inside is where we want to put our CSS and I'm simply going to give it a smaller size. So I'm going to say font size font dash size and let's try 16 picks that ought to do it now before I save and close this let's go back to our site and I've got a cart page here and also I've got the icon here so I can right click on either and just copy the link address to take people to the cart page which is what we want them to do when they click on this and I'll put that in the URL there control V to paste there we go now let's save. Go back to our page and refresh. There we go. That looks a little bit better and that will take them straight to the cart page. We can't have the actual item count in there. If you want that, you're going to have to mess around with some PHP. I may do that in a different video. But OK, what do we need to do now? We need to get rid of this one. On the actual secondary menu here so let's right click on this one inspect it 
And let's have a look here. We've got a span. And we've got this ET car info is the class name. So we need to hide that. So if I was to write here display none, it should disappear. Display colon none. There, it's gone. Fantastic. Just what we want. So I'm going to copy this ET cart info. Just going to double left click on it. Control C to copy. We'll remember it's a class because I've got to put a dot in front of it. And we'll go to our theme customizer, which is down to Divi theme customizer. Once loaded, we'll go to our additional CSS at the bottom here and we'll write this in. And I'll give it a title, forward slash star star forward slash, and in between the stars we can write our title. When you've got a lot of CSS, it's a good idea to give it a title so you can find it easily. So I'm going to say hide cart. Now, I copied that piece of code, it was a class. Now, because it's a class, we need to start with a period and paste in the class name there. Open and close some curly brackets. Like I say, I'll put the CSS down below. You can copy it and use it if you want to. And then I need to see, say display colon none, semicolon. And we'll publish that. Great. The cart up here is one I've added to the menu. You can just delete that from your secondary menu if you don't want that up there. Let's go back to our site now and refresh our page. Get rid of the visual builder. And as you can see, the icon's gone from up here and we've got that one down there. Let's make sure it's gonna go where we want it to go. Cart's empty, but it's going where I want it to go. Fantastic. Only other thing I need to do now is just delete the blurb module that we created to find the cart there. So let's enable the visual builder again. Once enabled, we can go down and simply delete this module we created just now. Save our changes. Save the page changes. Exit the Visual Builder. So there we have it. Our cart icon is now gone from our secondary menu, the top purple one here, and we've added it to our primary menu. So hopefully that's answered that question for you. Well, I hope you found that interesting and useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.